Hello everyone, this is the Kaim and welcome back to some more Endless Space 2 playing as the Riftborn. And last episode we push deeper into the Horatio territory and we're doing quite well, I think. Um, I am worried about this. Uh, I am going to send a fleet to go deal with them. Um, I really don't want anything to really happen, um, so I am going to go deal with that um, for sure. Let's see, they're not going to be able to get in all orbit. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I am concerned about it. Um... Let's, let's send them back here, just to defend, just in case. Um, and I really should probably try to take care of that fleet. Maybe I really should also uh, produce more warships, just so I have a greater amount of ships available. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's go here. And did not click on that. That was actually kind of annoying. Uh, yes, we are actually going to try to capture Gizar. Um, so we actually have a place uh, to fortify and resupply and whatnot. Uh, I really wish you could completely cull an entire world and just supplement your own forces. Um, but, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, let's, us uh, actually go ahead and turn. I'm actually, as you can see, recording at 3.23 in the morning. Because, yeah, that's currently how my life is, working nights. Um, and I was asleep. I don't know if it's, uh, noticeable in the recording. Uh, I am tired. <laughs> and it looks like we have uh, Nashed. Uh, leveled up or er, increased population and refuse. Let us go ahead and get a compression singularity down on here. And let's go destroy that. And okay, we're good there. Hard to tell. Is that ship leaving? I can't really tell. Can't tell whether or not it's leaving or uh, heading towards that. Probably I need to send this guy up here. Cause I just want to see uh, what singularities are around. And yeah, that's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy there. Shouldn't have any issues. I have no idea why I just said that. I seem to be saying those odd phrases rather consistently, and I don't know why. Ooh. Yes, that's actually um, hard, hard battle tactic. Let's actually grab that. If my... Oh, nope, it's all the way over. Uh, so what this does is 25% long range defense bonus on ships. Which is actually good for us because most of our weapons are long range. Uh, so yeah, that's perfectly fine for us. We'll go ahead and set up shop here. And oh yeah, has finished production. Fan freaking fantastic. Yeah, I think... That's all we need to do this turn, because I think these white lights are not ready to fire just yet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and end turn. And where did that fleet go? It's still around somewhere. That's kind of the issue right now. Alright, Singularity. And, oh, looky there. Yep, they're moving in to attack us. 
glad I retreated the fleet or brought the fleet back because that mm, would not have been good because uh, we kind of left ourselves wide open for attack. All right, uh, let's see. They are predominantly ballistics. Ballistics, ballistics. They're 100%. Let's watch this. Let's see us take them out. They did power to shields. Not a bad idea. It's kind of crazy that they get such a huge bonus to shield absorption versus hull plating. All right, let us take this out. I'm not overly concerned. I feel like we have far better ships than they do, uh, but we'll see. Let me actually move my mouse out of the way so it's not, you know, all over. And God, I do. I, I like the Riftborn ships. They look so badass. I will have to say Horatio's ships are unusual. Not what I would have expected from them. They're very... Very organic. From a not very organic race. Oh wow. Goodbye and good riddance. There goes their carrier. And their leader. Wow. Decisive victory. Didn't lose a single ship. Fan freaking tastic. This did take some damage. I kind of want to rewatch that. Ah, that was glorious. So, so glorious. All right. Um, let's see. Let's actually send some probes out. Just so I have a little bit of uh, range. And yeah, let's head back to this system real quick, just so we can maintain control. We don't want them coming on the back foot and colonizing, which would be very annoying. So let's try to prevent that as much as possible. And looks like we already have Singularity, we failed that. And let's go ahead and move that uh, fleet out. Let's see, I'm assuming they're ballistics. Yeah, they are. Let's take a look. I want to fight them. They're going to run. Yes, yes, they are. Which is fine with me, because next time I see them, they're going to die so very easily. Uh, so it's actually not that big of a deal. Uh, fantastic, precious, compression, singularity. Risto has leveled up. And... Wow, you don't have a lot of military attacks. I guess we'll go for that skill. All right, uh, where is our white light? Okay, seven turns on that and one turn on that. Okay, so we should be able to destroy this last planet uh, next turn, which is fan freaking tastic. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, I forgot we had a Compression singularity. Gosh darn it. Let's uh, go take care of that. I forgot to slap that down. 
Good lord. I am getting tired, I guess. Not paying attention as fully as I can. And we just got Stasis Singularity plus 10% Science on Empire. Freezes the system, preventing any progress, collecting resources, invasion, completing improvements, and blocks all entities within heroes and fleets. And Aina, you are actually, actually, let's try this thing, uh, Stasis Singularity. Um, new event. Uh, major industrial hub for your empire is holding a fancy summit for industrial leaders and politicians to mingle and talk business. Uh, we've seen this before, so let's go for attend. Because that obviously is what we are about. And let us slap down the singularity. Uh, just because I forgot, we need to definitely take care of that uh, as quickly as possible. Let's see, there is a singularity and the system is in there. Actually a couple. Let's see, Hyperium loot. And what's this last one? Prowler fleet, okay. Probably should send that out just so I can see. And let's go ahead and get rid of this as well. Not really that concerned with it, honestly. Oh, okay, we're actually gonna. <laughs> okay. Didn't mean to actually watch this, but whatever. I will have to say, yeah, these ships are very organic looking. God. We'll watch this. Might as well. I mean, it's not very often that I actually go and watch these battles. And it's also not very often that the AI um, sticks around in battles. I was expecting them to run. Because honestly, that's generally what happens whenever you face off against the AI. Okay, they're all dead. All right, fantastic. That's kind of what I figured would happen, but once again, wasn't expecting them to actually fight. Was expecting them to run away. Um, I guess we'll send this up here. I'm actually kind of regretting building all of those uh, those questionnaires because they're really not really using them that much and another system destroyed okay cool we can actually send this fleet out uh, true. Probably there. So I don't want to send them up here because obviously this is. Actually, no, I probably. Honestly, I probably could take these guys out. Yeah, I totally could. Yeah, let's do that. Not really that concerned. Um, it looks like they're. Yep, they're trying to colonize. Lo and behold, yes they are. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on sleep. Like I said, I don't really particularly need them uh, right this very instant. And we should... Be able to take control of that with a little issue. Uh, Akmar has finished construction. Eh, let's go for level 3 modernization. Might as well. As well as. Why can't we increase? I don't know. I don't get this. 
Because it says requires a system development. I don't know. That's weird. Alright, uh, he has leveled up and he is nearly maxed out, which is insane how high level he is. And honestly, these skills I'm not overly concerned with. Yeah, might as well get additional fleet because I'll probably put these heroes on a fleet or additional skills that benefit fleets, so I'm gonna, because I'm going to put them on a fleet, that's what I meant to say. But yeah, all right, that is done. And we have our Stasis Singularity. The only downside, well, I mean, it's not really that bad, I, I don't know. I'm actually kind of curious. Maybe I should look into see whether or not. There we go. Colonizers, I bet. Logistics. And oh, hello. Well, this should be easy. Sure, let's go ahead and watch it. Might as well, as we completely annihilate their fleet yet again. Look at this, life pods away. I mean, that, that just goes to show you how scared they are of my ships. And they even have a carrier. Pick the wrong system to come in. Also, the fact that their ships move, like they're actually swimming, is interesting. Like it almost seems very aquatic. Which makes me think whether or not Horatio was originally aquatic. Cause look at it, it's it's very aquatic esque. Yeah. Goodbye, good riddance. Oh, we lost our uh, leader, our hero. That kind of sucks. Wonder who just went down. <laughs> he did. That's that's amusing. All right. Uh, once again, let's just go ahead and move my fleets out. And not quite ready. But I will actually keep both of these white lights here because there are two planets that they've colonized. So we'll keep them there. Uh, just for, you know, to completely slaughter all of the planets, of course. All right. Let's see, you need five turns, so it's going to be a little bit uh, before we're ready. And we'll go ahead and set up shop here. And yeah, we just want to try to prevent them from actually colonizing uh, as much as possible. Now hasn't done anything. Keep an eye on that uh, just so we can get rid of it uh, if needs be. I actually merge these two. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Omdor has finished construction and we'll probably do that. Actually, we'll do level four modernization. 
Yeah, let's do that. 2.5k science is nothing to be ashamed of. That's actually really fantastic. Uh, Yina. Alright, so science is 4.9k. And if I do this... Actually, no. That might have been a really dumb idea. Yeah, that was a really dumb idea. Oh my word. Because stasis singularity plus 10% on science. Hmm. I wish I had looked at the total uh, science that we're bringing in uh, for the Empire. Uh, not that. Let's see. I wish it would tell me the total. Yeah, see, it dropped it to zero. Yeah, that was probably a very bad idea. Yeah, I regret that. I regret that immensely uh, because now my planet's not producing any science so that kind of sucks all right and that is actually gonna be it for this video um, went by really really quick but anyway thank you guys so much for joining in and watching if you like what you saw hit the like and subscribe button you guys have a great and fantastic day Sai Chen.